Hi everyone, so this week I'd like to continue talking about what I was talking about last week which was rigging the head and um, so this week I'm going to continue the discussion in Harmony but it's the same principle that we were talking about in Anime Pro and we might um, extend this discussion to talk a little bit about how we can work deforms into the head and, and make that work well. Um, so for the artwork that I prepared today it's just um, this is a little avatar of myself that I've been working on so that I could do some fun stuff for you guys but Basically, I've split this one up into various different pieces. So I've got the ears, I've got the eyes. Um, I haven't rigged anything yet in here. They're all just separate drawings. Um, and then there's a couple of things that I have uh, rigged already on the torso. Like I've rigged some shadows on here that I, I want to talk about um, pretty soon. I'm going to do a, a tip of the week on that, um, how to do shadows and, um, and whatnot on cutout characters. But for the moment, we are this week talking about the face or the head. So I'm just going to, um, you know, speed up this video here or or actually um, cut to the to the next stage as I rig this but I'm gonna do exactly the same thing that I did last week where I'm just going to um, take the eyes and I'm going to create the um, the eyeball rig that I had in there and then I'm also going to um, make all of these facial features cut off with the edge of the face now with the nose if I look at the nose drawing the nose drawing currently has something a little bit different it just has one um, a nose that kind of is a, a straight on nose, a forward nose. But um, what you can do when you're doing something like the um, this effect here, where you want to have the um, you want to be able to see the the nose as it sort of rotates off the edge of the face. One thing that you can do is you can draw directly in the underlay layer. And I'll show you how I rig this after I do it here, but let's just say I'm going to do something like that. Um, and forgive me, I'm trying to use my mouse to do this because I left my tablet somewhere else. But let's say something like that, and I'll just overlap these a little bit better so the line works a bit better there. And um, I'll also fill the nose in there. So let's take uh, my stroke tool, which is underneath my paint bucket. And I'll just draw a stroke that kind of goes out underneath the nose. And I'll show the strokes there. And I'll turn off the preview so I can see just what's going on in this layer. So that way I can actually, you know, move this contour point up under there so that I can fill this guy in. So what this is, is I've got an underlay layer here that I'm using so that I can just create kind of a... Um, a side version of the nose or a profile version of the nose that's going to show up only when the nose um, goes off the edge of the face. So I can just pop back to my line art layer there, grab the color, go back to the underlay, stick the color on, and now you'll see when I overlap them that I do see both um, you know, versions of that or both, both layers of that nose. So what's going to happen or what I'm going to do here is um, when I rig this, I'll rig it such that I don't see the line of the nose there unless um, the nose goes off the edge of the face. And looking at this actually in more detail, it's probably a better idea if I fill that with the color on the actual face. So I'm just going to repaint it. I'll take my uh, paint bucket there, grab the paint off the um, off the face and then repaint that nose there. So this is the color that it's going to be like as it as it um, goes off the edge of the face. But I don't really want to see this line as I'm working. I only want to see the line um, if it does come out from under the face. So so what you can do over here if you're rigging this is you want to take your nose layer and you want to separate out the underlay from the the regular drawing. So. Um, there's there's a couple of different ways of doing it. One way is you can use those modules in your module library to filter them out. So, uh, for example, if you I was using here the color art um, for the nose that's going on top of the face, so I could filter out using the color art module. I could filter this out and put this in front of the face, um, which is kind of on this head layer here. It's the head layer that I want, so. I'll take the existing nose that I've got here and I'll just scooch it behind that head layer. And then I can take the color art version and put it in front. So basically what that's doing is I'm just seeing the color art now 
in front. And what I realized was I used the wrong module because if I check out my nose layer, I don't actually have anything in the color art. <laughs> so that's why I'm not seeing anything. It's the line art that I have it in. Um, so if I had that artwork in the color art, it would show up there, but what you do need to do is you need to use the appropriate module there. So if I just whip that color art back out again, then instead of the color art, I'm actually going to use the line art one because the line art is the one that I am actually have the artwork inside. And then if I scooch that in there with that alt key, now you see that when the nose is, you know, nicely in front of the face, you see that version of the nose. And then what's going to happen is as I mouse off the edge of the face there, let's just pretend, I'm just going to move this ear out of the way for a second. As I mouse off the edge of the face there, it's going to show up as a profile nose. Now, um, you might want to adjust the artwork a little bit so that you don't see the nostrils fully the way they are right now. Um, and that's something you can do kind of design-wise. And then we'll also filter out so that it um, cuts off with that um, face color without cutting off with that um, or just basically so that I can disappear that line there. So uh, before I do that though I'm just going to fade out here for a second and I'll repeat what I did last week so that I can get all of those facial features cutting off with the face um, and then I will return to the concept of um, the nose in a moment. So come back to you in a sec. 